What's up guys, it's just a quick video on how to improve the battery life and flying time of your SEMA helicopter or other uh, small clones for indoor flying. Um, now I'm going to have some questions about this not looking like your typical SEMA, so I'm going to take care of that right now. Here's the box that came in. I've had about 10 of these uh, over the past few years. Great, they're awesome. Um, here's the, cor the box, all the correct badging on the box. SEMA logo. Um, I don't know if this is just a different, this is different than any of the other S107s I've had. It's a S107G, that's the labeling. Normally this label is up here. There's no writing on the canopy. The balance bar has removable screws so you can actually take the weight or adjust the weight. That does not have this. The canopy itself is, is a different shape. Um, the rear vertical stabilizer is a different shape and has different colors than my other S107s do. Um, the chipset has the correct uh, S107R5 labeling that it should, as well as the green flashing light. A lot of the fake ones either have a, a yellow or a red. This one does have the green. Um, and on the props, the labeling is, is correct too. So I don't know if it's just a, a new model or if it's just a good knockoff in the correct box. but. Um, Oh yeah, the remote, the, the radio, um, obviously in, infrared's not really radio, but in terms, the radio is identical to all of my other ones, except it came from the factory without a spring on the left thumbstick, and every single one I've had, I've had to mod the, and remove the spring to get the control I want, and this one doesn't have one, so I don't know if that's something they just started doing since everybody mods them. But anyways, back to the purpose of this video, how to improve your battery life, whether you have the upgraded 240 battery or the standard 150. I do have the upgraded batteries, and this one is a standard 150. I'm going to try a trial test. Um, this battery only has about six flights on it, so hopefully um, it's going to give us a good, uh, some good numbers on how you can have yours at home. First things you want to do to improve the battery life. Remove the inner frame. A lot of people won't do this. They say it's a waste of time. They say it makes it flimsy. You lose control. Your motor's loose. Some of this is true. Some of this is not. So basically when you remove these, um, your, your motor mounts, there's really nothing holding them in since the mounts are on the top here to hold the motors in. Tiny dab of hot glue will hold this thing in there tight. won't pop out. The front one on this model, because of the way the canopy is set up, is actually pressed in by the canopy as long as it's attached. I had to do a little bit of change um, since the pins that the canopy hooks into actually lock into this inner frame. So I kind of had to change that around a little bit and by doing so, um, in order to charge it, I had to cut this little square out because the canopy sits lower than it does standard. Um, if you want a detailed video on how to remove this stuff, feel free to send me a message. Uh, I'm not going to get into the details here. If you're familiar with these, it's pretty easy to do. It takes you maybe a half an hour of your time. If you're skilled, it will take less time than that. Um, but you want to make sure you definitely glue these in. Uh, next, we have all these little grommets, these little white grommets that were actually part of this inner system um, that would go from these screws to the inner uh, plastic frame. Remove those. The steel aluminum or lead weight that a lot of these have. Some of them don't have it, uh, but check it will sit right up in the nose of the canopy. Uh, remove that. Number one, this this is like my biggest thing that I do that a lot of people don't because they don't think the LED uses that much battery power. But with something that's this small, the way that these motors um, are drying the current, it, 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 it uses a lot of battery power just to have something small like this um, with these types of motors. So um, not only is this going to remove weight, but you know, you're going to save your battery life. Probably get an extra 30 seconds not having that thing in there. Um, so you lose a little bit of cosmetics. Doesn't look as cool without the inner frame on there. And you don't have the light on the front, but you know, I don't really care about the light. Um, second thing, or not second thing, like the fifth thing, but um, a lot of people will remove the tail strut supports for the boom. Um, basically it's just this screw here and then there's two screws underneath. Um, I usually do take these off on all my copters but this one is balanced a little bit different than my other SEMAs so by removing this I actually at a hover would 
get a little bit of forward drift really, really slow. Um, and a lot of people probably won't care about that, but I like to be precise with these. So I actually put this back on in order to get the stabilized hover, because remember, whatever you take off, you have to keep it balanced. So if you take everything off on the back, but you don't take anything off on the frame or the front, you're going to have a lot of forward drift. Or if you do the same thing, you take everything off on the front and you have all the stuff on the back, it's going to drift back. So what I did do was just remove the rear stabilizing uh, wing here. And it's not too much, not too heavy, but all the stuff together is around 3 grams, which does make a big difference on something this small. Um, the biggest thing that I did, though, um, was because these did not have removable weights, I actually put it up to a grinder and ground about a quarter inch, I'm sorry, ground about a quarter inch off on each side. And yes, you're going to lose a little bit of stability in the air, um, but if you're going for battery life and, you know, you're not outside in the wind, so there's not a lot of, as long as it's a stable environment inside, you should be fine. The biggest thing about this I used uh, a rotary belt grinder, like a sander, uh, a tabletop one. You can use a Dremel. As you grind, the metal inside heats up and causes this plastic to melt very rapidly. And if you don't do this right, you're going to ruin your balance bar and have to buy a new one. So basically what you want to do, um, grind it for five seconds, very, very light pressure. And then dip it into water for 10 seconds, let it cool down, and then continue the process. Because if you don't do it, it's kind of hard to see this side. But basically this entire capsule side right here turned to liquid, and I almost ruined the bar doing it too quickly. Um, but yeah, I mean, between all these mods, even if you take these back booms off, you're going to lose probably like another, almost a full gram off this, maybe, maybe a half gram. I haven't weighed it, but between the mods I've done with these and the weights, I've probably taken close to, to 4 or 5 grams off, maybe more. Um, so I'm hoping on the stock battery, it's about 5 minutes. I'm hoping to get at least 8 now, uh, 8 to 10, and we'll see, we'll see what kind of difference it made. Again, this has only had about 6 flights on it. This right now currently has the stock 150 battery in it. Um, so I'll show you what just small improvements like this can do to flight time. And we'll give it a shot. It's up like a bird and it's over the city. The rain and I'm missing. I heard the water cry. Sure, it must have been a bird that flew into the prison. Or one of these new ministers said. The water in the joy. Early one morning, as the branchmen they were sleeping, a little helicopter flew across the sky, down into the yard where some prisoners were walking. Get ready for an inspection, says the water in the joy. And it's up like a bird, and it's over the city. Three men are missing. I heard the water cry. Sure, it must have been a bird. I flew into the prison Or one of these new ministers says The water in the joy Down in the yard Through the pushing and the shoving Three of the prisoners They climbed upon the board And up and away They went into the grey skies I think the summon escape and says The water in the joy And it's up like a bird And it's over the city Three men are missing, I hear the water cry, sure it must have been a bird that flew into the prison. Or one of these new ministers says, the water in the joy. Search every hole, search every nook and cranny, let no man rest until these men are found. For this cannot happen to a law and order government, I think you'll never find them said. The water in the joy And it's up like a bird And it's over the city Three men are missing I hear the water cry Sure it must have been a bird That flew into the prison Or one of these new ministers says The water in the joy Over in the dark They were 
drinking gin and brandy. The minister for justice was soaking up the sun. When came this little message that some prisoners had escaped them, I think it's three of the provost says. The water in the joy and it's up to like a bird and it's over the city. Three men are missing. I heard the water cry. Sure, it must have been a bird that flew into the prison. Or oh, one of these new ministers says, The water in the joy and it's up to like a bird and it's over the city. Three men are missing. I heard the water cry. Sure, it must have been a bird that flew into the prison. Or oh, one of these new ministers says, There we go. 10 minutes and 43 seconds on the stock battery, where this craft is only rated at 5 to 6 minutes. All by doing just a simple few modifications. Removing this weight and the LED. As you can see, I was getting a little bit of the toilet bowl effect at some points, um, just from a slight variation of the cold air coming up from the basement and the hot air rising up the steps. Um, and that's due to the removal of um, some of the weight on the bar. Um, but again, that's a few easy steps you guys can do.